Good morning, everyone. I'm here to read a story. It's called Tiny Pie. I've never read this one, so we'll see how it goes. It looks cute. Once upon a nighttime, there was a party on Elephant Lane. I'll move my computer. Hold on, guys. There we go. It was not a birthday party or a holiday party or a tea party. It was a grown-up party, you know, for big people. But for little people, there was little fun. For And for little Ellie, there was none. She had been told to stay out of the way or else go to bed. She chose not to go to bed. Then Ellie got hungry. She knew this be because her tummy told her so. It said rumble, rumble, rumble. Ellie asked her mother, Mama, oopa, doopa, do. Ellie said her mother, please stay out of the way. This is a grown up party. She asked her father, da da, doopa, loopa, loo. Ellie, I think it's time for bed, said her father. You are too little to be here up so late. But rumble, 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 said Ellie's tummy, stomach again. She was still hungry. Ellie walked into the kitchen. If only she was tall enough to reach the counter, then she could reach the cookie jar. If only she was strong enough to open the freezer, then she could grab an ice cream bar. But it seemed as enough, though everything was for big people. Or was it? Hello out there in TV land. Welcome to the Hole in the Kitchen Wall. A cooking show for everyone, especially the small. In this episode, we are going to bake in just under an hour. A tasty treat, savory and sweet, that starts with, the un with unbleached flour. Now I can see you wondering, is this something I can do? But if you're big enough to eat dessert, then you can make it too. So if anyone big ever comes to, to you and asks, what good are you, your tiny eyes? What can you see? Just tell them you see paws with itsy bitsy claws, a busy, as can be. I wonder what he's making. And if they ask, what good are those tiny ears? What can you hear? Chop, chop, chop. Tell them you hear apples on the chopping block, but please be careful, dear. And if they ask, what's good for your tiny nose? What can you sniff? Tell them you smell melted butter and cinnamon. Why don't you take a whiff? And if they ask, what a good are your tiny hands? What can you touch? You say, it's round and warm and very small. Just don't take too much. And then they ask, what good is a tiny mouth? What can you taste? Shout out, it's tiny pie, it's tiny pie. It sure won't go to waste. Now come and join our party at the hole in the kitchen wall. Where people, where, oh, sorry. Where a pie was made in just under an hour by bakers not so tall. Your friends are here, the best in best of chair and they are glad to say parties are for everyone because we all know how to play and if anyone ever asks what good is your tiny heart what can you wish just tell them Whether you are big or small, short and tall, you will always find the perfect dish. And they baked happily ever after.
the end. In this book, it actually has a recipe for tiny apple pies. It's a big recipe. But maybe you guys can make apple pie at home. All right, guys. I'll see you next time. Bye.